welcome to the practical lecture here we'll be discussing about remcos rat so remcos rat which we will use to gain full access to the target system so what is it remcos rat is a commercial remote access tool developed by breaking security and because it offers various powerful functionalities it has been abused by hackers to secretly control victim devices it is so advanced that once it is installed on the target system it opens a back door granting full access to the attacker and the great thing is that you can manage multiple devices at once and you can give commands to multiple devices at the same time all right enough talking let's test it practically first of all we can download remcos tool by visiting this link here you can see all the features that this tool provides. If you can scroll down to the highlights, you can discover a lot of things about this tool. It has, it is fast and lightweight, multi-thread, meaning you can control one or many devices at the same time and all the functions can be operated simultaneously. With remote screens functionality, you can even access the victim screen remotely and control it via mouse and keyboard and the best thing about this is you can even edit registry and manage processes at the same time you can now download this tool scroll down at the very end and click on the download remcos free with the free remcos version you cannot do surveillance invisible mode and co on connection auto task and you can only manage 10 machines at once and with the professional version you can use all of these features and you can manage unlimited machines but it costs around 58 euros so it's up to you to whether download the free version or download the professional version but to my surprise i found the crack version of this tool which was posted on some websites also I'm not suggesting you to download the crack I'm just putting it out there just so you know and if you decide to download it do it at your own risk because it might contain Trojan I don't know now once you download the tool it will look something like this extract the file right click on it and click on extract all click on extract and I will not replace the files but once you extract those files it will ask for a password which is extraction password now for the password you can go on the Remco's website again and at the very bottom you will find this zip password here copy the password paste it uh, into the prompt and you will see a folder I will double click and open the folder and here you will see all of the files which are needed for the remcos malware after extracting go to the folder and install this tool as any other software you might install in windows double click on it also make sure you are registered at breakingsecurity.net because it will ask for a registration email once you open it so this is the interface you will see after installation in the connections tab it will show you the devices to manage this is the tab we will be using to manage all the devices that are compromised our main focus for this video will be this agent builder tab here in connections you can specify the IP address here now if you want to test this on a local network you can specify your own IP address here to see your IP address you can go to the command prompt I will do control R Windows R hit CMD hit enter and type in ipconfig now here it will show you your devices IP address copy this IP address and paste it in here and specify the port you want but we won't be doing it on a local network we will be doing it over the internet also for your knowledge it is beneficial for you to test it over the 
internet and as you are most likely will send it over the internet we will be port forwarding as we saw in our previous lectures we will be using open vpn to port forward now go to your browser and search for portmap.io this website will pop up now click on the website and create an account here i guess you have already created an account so i won't be demonstrating the steps here we have to port forward using open vpn now in the browser search for open vpn download for windows you can download open vpn for windows by going to the open vpn's website and download it for the windows i will click on the link here it will show you open vpn release 15 august 2023 might be different for you so here what we have to do is we have to click on windows 64 bit msi installer now i have already installed this file so after downloading open vpn for windows you have to install it like any other software after installation the next step we are going to do is port mapping so go to your browser and search for portmap.io as we have already created an account for portmap we will be logging in with that same account now after you log in click on create new configuration here you can specify the name and in in protocol you have to select tcp and hit on generate it will take some time after generating the open vpn file you have to download it i will download it on the desktop hit on save after doing that go to mapping rules here we have to create a new rule click on create new rule it will bring this page now here on this page you have to add a port i will add the port 1234 and click on create now this port will be your remcos listening port and this is the port our malware will be using to make connection to our remcos click on create now it will create a mapping rule here go to your remcos now this is very crucial first we need to connect with the configuration file we just downloaded you might see this icon here open vpn gui icon on the bottom right of your desktop right click on it and click on import and import file it will open up a window here so we have to specify the file we just downloaded this is this is my file which i just downloaded i will double click on it now that it has imported the file i will click on connect it will take some time to connect with the portmap.io's tunnel and to check whether it is connected to our portmap.io website you can go on this arrow and here it will show you the green colored icon and in the description you can see connected to sakoi.first our open vpn has connected with the portmap.io tunnel and if you refresh the page you can see here the right mark here now this is very crucial if you want to connect the malware over the internet so make sure you connect your open vpn with the configuration file with the portmap.io tunnel now after that you have to go to remcos here what we have to do is first go to local settings and we have to specify our listening port here listening port is 1234 in my case so i will edit this port and set as 1234 now we don't want tls connection so unticket tls connection is only needed uh, if you want to encrypt the connection between the victim and your attacking pc so in your case you might not need this 
because you have to input the password at the victim's end. So I will untick this and click on add port. Now I don't need this 3355 port so I will remove it. Now here you can see it is listening on port 1234. So after that is done we have to go to agent builder tab and here click on connections tab we need to add the IP address here. So in our case the IP address will be this address here. Make sure you skip this part over here and just copy up to host. Copy this address and paste it into the IP DNS column. Now here in TCP port, now keep in mind that this port which will be used by our payload. So this is the port we will be using in this part here. So I will add this port 47665 and also make sure you untick this box as we our listening port is not accepting the TLS connection here. So click on add connection. Now that is done. You can go to the next installation part. Here you can edit the attributes if you want to because it is only available for pro edition only. So mine is not pro version. So I will just skip this part. Here in stealth mode you can edit these variables if you want your payload to be visible you can click on it you can modify it to visible minimized or invisible in process injection what it does is it injects itself into the browser if you want to so for the demonstration purpose i won't be modifying anything here you can play around it and test yourself in keylogger we can modify the attributes as well surveillance I won't be modifying it as for the demonstration purpose so in the build section we can specify any name we want for example I can I can specify anything like so it will be less suspicious and here in agent selection you can select anything you want but it is for pro version only so i won't be doing that after all of these steps are done you can hit on build i accept now it will ask for the location for the our payload to be saved so i want it to be saved in desktop so click save here is our remcos payload so for the demonstration purposes i will be attacking this windows 10 virtual machine so what i will do is i have i have created a shared folder here which we will be using to transfer our payloads to our machine also before creating this payload make sure you disable any antivirus software you might have now here you can see our payload if I double click on it and execute it yeah yes as you can see it is showing a new connection here because we have established a connection with our victims PC as you can see here you can access multiple features from the connection interface of the REM costume as you can see here you can access the file manager and execute the system commands you can set wallpaper and power up the system from the rem costume you can access pretty much everything here and keep in mind this is just a small pie of the big chunk some features may come up with the pro version but most of the features are free so as you can see there are lot of features now you can even monitor the victim's device from your remcos interface as you can see it is spying the victim's device and 
monitoring it. It will resemble everything on your Remcos interface. You can even control the tool. Now, in this interface, you will see all of the system information such as RAM and CPU usage. You can even access the file manager from this interface. As you can see here, I can access any drive on the victim's PC. I can even edit and delete the files if you want to. I will close the tool and the last trick I will do is I will power off the machine from my RAM cost. I will force shut down it and execute the command. And as you can see, the connection is disabled.